Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and I am so glad that you're here with me today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five plants that are thriving in my greenhouse. <laughs> so as I've shared in previous videos, I did buy a greenhouse that I can put inside of my house. So it is just a little guy, but it has made a huge improvement to my plant collection. Sometimes you get a plant from an import and it just needs a little bit of extra help. Or also in my case, I live in a place where it is not very humid and I need to up the humidity in my home. This little greenhouse has been a really, really wonderful way to do that. And I'm really excited to show you all of the work that it's been doing lately. Ta-da! Okay, so this is my Monstera Siltipicana. This was actually gifted to me by a very special plant friend, Cody, and I was so nervous that it wasn't going to make it past shipping. It was shipped and it got lost in the mail or something happened to it and it was in shipping for a lot longer than we expected. So when I got it, I had to cut it down to this one single leaf and I just was not sure what was going to happen. So I stuck it in the greenhouse and lo and behold, we have this absolutely gorgeous plant. I honestly, to be honest with you, I did not see the hype of the Monstera Celtipicana until this happened. Like it is so beautiful. The texture on this plant is mind blowing. Let me show you a close up, okay? Cause you guys need to see this. These are all relatively new leaves as well. So they are perfect. They have been getting like the optimal conditions and we have a new growth coming in here. That is already, let's put up against my bangs. You know how I do. It's already having another growth tip. So I don't know, I'm just really, really impressed with this plant and so excited to see how it grows moving forward. I am thinking that I'm gonna have to remove it from my greenhouse sometime soon because it is getting a little bit tall. I mean, it's kind of growing out like this. So I've been thinking about putting it on like a hoop trellis. I think that would be really beautiful. But for now, it just stands up like this. So you guys let me know if I should put it on a moss pole so it stands up like this or a hoop trellis so I can kind of embody this circle thing and have it grow in a circle. Let me know what you guys think. The next plant that is thriving in my greenhouse is this Anthurium Ace of Spades. I have mentioned in a video or two that I'm just not sure if I want to keep this plant, but I said that when it put out a new leaf, I would decide then if I wanted to keep it or not. And it did put out a new leaf and I'm thinking that I wanna keep it. It is so cute, so beautiful. This is the only plant for my green spaces order that struggled a little bit. And I'm glad to say that it has now put out this beautiful, beautiful new leaf. Look at this. Those lobes are overlapping so much that it just looks like it doesn't have any. Like you can just see, it is so cute. Let's get a close up of the front of the leaf. It's kind of shaken, but it has some dots on it, which I can only assume is from the grow light. I'm not entirely sure. So if you guys know why there are dots on it, on the leaf right here, uh, maybe it's just still growing up and maturing, but in any case, I love, love, love the dark edge around the leaf. I wasn't expecting that to be so prominent in this new leaf, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I think that all of my anthurium would really, really benefit from being in that greenhouse at 80% humidity all the time, but unfortunately I don't have anything big enough to do that. Crossing my fingers that in my next home, I will be able to have a greenhouse where I can do that, or I will get that Ikea greenhouse that I mentioned in my greenhouse video because Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful, but I just don't feel like I'm ready to get one yet because I feel like if I got one, I would want three and I'm just not ready to commit to that. So with that being said, this one is doing so good in there and every time I have put an anthurium in there that was kind of stagnant, within a couple of weeks, it put out a new leaf. The next plant that is thriving in my greenhouse is this philodendron gloriosum. And this is a plant that I am, oh my gosh, I love it so much. And it's extra special because I got it from my friend Ashley, planting the world red. And I just, wow, I love it so much. It's so special. When I got it, it had, I think it had these three leaves when I first got it. And it has since put out these beautiful three leaves, or maybe it was these four. In any case, it didn't have that many leaves and now it has more. So also we have another leaf on the way. You can, you can see it right there. So anyway, I'm just so excited about this plant and seeing all of the growth. It was sitting in my kitchen with 40 to 50% humidity at the very most, and it just wasn't doing anything. And after a few weeks in the greenhouse, we got these two beautiful leaves. I showed this plant in my blindfolded plant ID video, and as I was touching it, I thought it was a micans. So it is so, so velvety and soft. 
I don't think that I had ever felt up this plant prior to that video, but now that I, you know, found out how soft these leaves are, I've been petting it. Let's just say that. <laughs> also, can we talk about this pot? I got this pot from someone on an Instagram sale like a long time ago and I wish that I could find bigger versions of it because it is so beautiful. This is the exact type of pottery that I really enjoy. If you know any potters that sell this sort of pottery, please leave their information in the description box below so that I can support them because I love stuff like this. I feel like I'm moving more into the I like special pottery zone in my plant life. I don't know, for a while I was really happy just mass buying terracotta and you know, just doing that. But now I'm like, kind of want something special like this. So anyway, if you know anybody, please leave their information in the comments. All right, the next plant that is thriving in my greenhouse is this Peperomia prostrata or the string of turtles. This is a plant that was not super exciting to me when I first got it. I didn't like it, you know what I mean? So since I put it in the greenhouse, I kind of put it in there as a last ditch effort because I felt like it was going downhill and nothing was really happening. But since I put it in there, it has grown all of this that is hanging off. It barely hung over the pot when I had it originally out of the greenhouse. But as soon as I moved it in there, it just took off. And granted, the growth is like really, really tiny, like minuscule. Let's see if I can show you guys. That is obviously very tiny growth. So maybe if you have any ideas on how I can get bigger growth on this guy, um, it sits right underneath the grow light. I don't know if that is negatively affecting it, but the humidity, oh my gosh, the humidity, it is loving the humidity. I've never seen this much growth on it ever in the time that I've had it. So I'm just really excited about that. I am thinking of putting it in a more permanent terrarium situation because I know that this plant would be so much happier that way. It's just not a plant that I think will be happy out in the open with everybody else. Maybe like a low key terrarium, maybe not a completely closed and super regimented terrarium because one time I tried that, honestly it did not go well and I kind of don't want to repeat that experience. Let me know if you guys have any ideas on maybe why the growth is super tiny. Very cute, but very tiny. I'll show you the top of the plant too. You can see like it used to be like really bleached out and just no details and now, the plant the leaves have more details so that's really exciting the next plant thriving in my greenhouse is this anthurium crystallinum and i actually got this as a free gift along with an order that i made of a really really big anthurium clarinervium oh my gosh the more anthurium genuses that i say out loud or anthurium names I get so confused and I want to call them the wrong name so sorry it just takes me a second there but anyway this was a freebie and I don't know what I was expecting from it I wasn't expecting too much but when I first got it it put out this leaf right here this little one and then now most recently it's put out this leaf which is already bigger than the original leaf that it came with so that's really exciting and fun and I love this plant. It wasn't doing anything for a really, really long time. And like I said with an earlier anthurium, as soon as I put it in there, it started growing like crazy. So, well, one leaf. <laughs> so not like crazy, but it did start doing something, which is really exciting. So I love this plant. I'm still waiting for the leaf to harden off. You can see that it is still a nice, like bronzy, brownish color and it will eventually harden off to look a little bit more like this one okay so i know that i said that i'd only be showing you five plants but i have to brag about this just for a second because i'm so excited so this is my anthurium regale and it is finally not a stump we had a stump and she is no longer a stump it's very exciting so yeah i love it look how dark and beautiful and like coppery that leaf is Come on, if you don't get any anthurium in your life, please get this one, like, oh, she's so cute. Okay, so she was stumpified on 31720 and she is now a beautiful, beautiful woman again. I'm just so excited about this. All right, you guys, that is going to be all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed a little greenhouse update. There's definitely a lot of other things that are thriving in there. But those ones are the ones that I feel like had a huge turnaround once I put them in there. So I hope that you enjoyed hearing about them. If you have any questions about my greenhouse setup or anything like that, I will leave that video down in the description box below. In the description box of that video, I have the exact greenhouse that I bought in the description box and all the information about setting it up and my initial thoughts on it are also in that video. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and maybe share this video with a planty friend. I will see you in the next one. Bye.